Welcome back. This is Swift Passage. Thanks for all you new subscribers out there. Thank you. This is God's holy channel. This is God's holy channel. Um, finally, finally, I'm going to introduce you to uh, a brother in Christ that I've known for almost two years now that we work together at Walmart um, unloading trucks. And one day he came up to me. He said, <clears throat> You're a Christian, huh? And and I was really floored and surprised. And I said, yes, I am a Christian. So one thing led to another. We became good friends, two brothers in Christ. So what I'm going to do is we've got a mission coming up, um, not this coming weekend, the following weekend in Denver, Colorado. We're going out to talk to others in Christ, um, about the Lord and the Lord's saving grace. And we're going to 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 uh, talk to the homeless. So I'm going to um, introduce you to my friend Misha. Um, he's he's my uh, best friend in the world. Um, he's uh, half my age. So I, I know I know that some of you out there have uh, brothers and sisters in Christ that are um, different in age groups. So. Amen. Praise the King. So Misha's going to, I'm going to give it over to Misha and he's going to um, talk to you a little bit about our mission that we're feeling led by the Holy Spirit to do. How are you guys doing? Uh, we're going to go out in the streets of Denver and uh, preach the good news to the poor uh, because that's what we feel the Lord wants us to do. And uh, for every believer, I believe in this, for every believer, when you are born again, when you have accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, uh, he has a plan for your life. Everybody, you just need to pray about it and ask him what ask him what the uh, what his plan for your life is. It could be teaching. It could be praying for others. It could be uh, giving to the needy. It's uh, you could be receiving words from the Lord. Everybody's different. Lord has plans, different plans for everybody. Everybody's different. So, I strongly encourage you if uh, the Lord has put this into your heart to go out and serve others. Uh, there's nothing like it. It's amazing. It's the most amazing job is to work for the Lord. And uh, earning a treasure for yourself in heaven that will last forever. Amen. Amen. Yep. So I strongly encourage you guys. If the Lord has put this into your heart, go out and join us. Join us if you want to, or go if you live somewhere else. Go out and preach the word and help the poor. Uh, just do the Lord's will. Whatever Amen. the Lord has, whatever the Lord has planned for you, He will let you know. So. Amen. Yep. Amen. So you want to tell them a little bit about yourself, um, how you became to um, know the uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, my mom was, uh, my family was always a believers, believers. My grandma and mom were strong believers, but my grandpa wasn't. And, uh, I used to always sit in the computer and I used to game a lot. And, uh, my grandma and mom would always walk by and tell me, you know, oh, quit playing these satanic games. You know, you better read the Bible. And I used to always shut doors and say, you know, you know, quit. Or when somebody used to pray, I used to always close doors. I couldn't stand that. I just couldn't stand it. Well, uh, one day it was it happened uh, in August or September of 2014. I think it was in September. I don't quite remember. Uh, I was led to a videos. I was led to a video on YouTube. It was a confession um, about how a, a guy became a follower of Jesus. Him and his wife both. No, him. It was just him. And uh, uh, he spoke how the Lord changed his life and um, showed him how it, it would be changed by. Uh, what would happen if he wouldn't obey him? And it was just, it was just an amazing testimony. It was awesome. And then I was led to other videos about hell, and I started to realize that hell is real. And uh, I kept watching more and more. And one of the best videos I've ever seen is called "23 Minutes in Hell" by Bill Weiss. I strongly suggest uh, for you guys to watch it. It's an amazing. It's I think it's about one hour long. It's it's an amazing video. Just wow. amazing. I, I also saw that too. Um, um, it was. Um, very inspiring, I believe, by the Holy Spirit. Um, I, I felt it was led by the Holy Spirit to show many that hell is real and that um, many will go there because they, they don't know the Lord. Um, so it, it's, pre it's pretty it's uh, pretty interesting stuff. Um, go ahead. Yeah, it's an amazing video. And then I've watched uh, Angelica Zambrano, I think is her name. Uh, the Lord took her to heaven and hell she had three experiences and uh those were just powerful powerful videos and once i realized what hell is and what the lord has done for me i immediately repented and invited mm -hmm. him into my life and ever since then my life has changed and it was amazing it's amazing 
I uh, became baptized uh, six months ago, I think, February of 2015. Which I missed because the devil um, made me sick that day, so I couldn't go and see it. So that was kind of disturbing for me. But um, anyway, go ahead. The, the enemy has been attacking. He attacks us all the time. So you guys aren't alone. If you feel if you feel down in your spirit, uh, you are, what you need to do is... Uh, you need to get a hold of a brother or sister in Christ and talk about it. You need to pray to the Lord first. Pray to the Lord first and then get a hold of a brother or sister in Christ because that's what the church. That's one of the things where the church was created so we can talk to each other, inspire each other. And, yes. um, yeah, the enemy is not sleeping. He's been attacking uh, at all times. But when you do the Lord's work, that's when uh, you feel most amazing. That's when. That's the best job you can ever have. All the joy and everything when you're when you know that you're making a difference. And uh, it's not about your bank account. It's not about this worldly jobs. That doesn't do anything. Yes. Uh, I thought when I when I bought my when I buy my dream four wheeler, mm -hmm. uh, everything would be complete, and I did. And after a month away, you know, it just it wasn't it wasn't what I needed. But after I got baptized and received, actually after I repented, I started I started to feel that the Lord is with me. But after I got baptized, I started feeling this God's peace, which is beyond understanding. It's amazing. Yeah. Right. And. Uh, when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, it's just, it's amazing. So, uh, I strongly suggest you guys do, do for you guys to do the Lord's, the Lord's work because he wants us all to do work. He doesn't want us sitting, doubting, you know, working our jobs and not caring about others. And he wants us to do his will. So I'd, uh, pray about it. Ask the Lord what the mission is, what your mission is work for him because the time is near. Jesus will come soon. And, uh, Amen. Yep. Any moment now, and Amen. I want to get out of here. I'm sick of being in this world. So yeah, yeah. the world get is the world is getting more and more wicked daily. Uh, we're watching as Russia. Uh, who is it? Russia. Russia, and, Turkey, and Iran is an alliance now. They're an this alliance is, to go yeah. against Israel. So we know the time of the Lord's return is near. Um, what we need to do is stay encouraged and and encourage one another that our our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is near. Do I know the day or hour? No. But the Lord is the Lord has lifted me up to um, to in these last days to to encourage you all that it, the the time is near that we are in the season of the Lord's coming. We are in the season of the Lord's coming. Um, what what we're going to do? Um, if you guys feel led to um, send Bibles to me in the next week, that would be great. I I have one box of Bibles. I need more. Um, I would say um, uh, maybe a box or two. I don't know how many come in a box. It depends. I, I prefer, prefer the uh, King James Version Bibles. King James Version Bibles. So um, if you feel led to, to send those, um, send me an email to dvargas, V-A-R-G-U-S 25 at gmail.com. That's dvargas, V-A-R-G-U-S 25 at gmail.com. Um, if, if you're led, put a, um, well, go to that email, but I'll, I'll leave the, co the, um, address down below, down below in the comment section, um, uh, the email address, and then you can email me and I'll give you the information. Um, once again, um, this channel is God's channel. This is of God. This is for God. This channel is a love of God. So, um, I do this for the Lord. I don't do this for my glory whatsoever. I was led to start this channel, and I'm doing the Lord's work here. So um, I'm going to give you back to my brother in Christ, Misha, and then um, he can tell you a little bit about the mission, and then we're going to go ahead and end this video. And um, I hope you, you guys all have a beautiful day in the Lord. Go ahead, brother. Uh, if, like I said, if you guys uh, f uh, feel encouraged by the Holy Spirit to come uh, and do this mission with us in Denver, uh, go right ahead. And uh, if if some people are, that are watching this are from other states, uh, I suggest you guys ask the Holy Spirit what He wants you to do, what kind of what, what kind of purpose He has for your life, and because uh, everybody has everybody has a purpose, but it's all different different for everybody. And uh, I just want to encourage all of you guys who are. Uh, who are feeling uh, sad right now or who are in doubt that don't give it to the enemy. It's all, it's all from the enemy. Everybody's getting attacked. You're not alone out there. It doesn't just happen to everyone, you know, to just to a single person. It happens to everybody. The enemy is attacking all the believers. It's really bad right now. 
Yeah. And I was I was actually at work, uh, I think it was yesterday, and I was sitting down with friends of mine and we were just talking about worldly people, you know, we're just and the Lord showed me if you just get back in the world for just a little bit, I was sitting there talking about worldly things and just for thirty seconds I felt this peace kind of disappear. I felt worrying in my spirit coming back in and this just shows that you cannot be looking you cannot be looking. You can't even open the door a little bit and look back in the world. You can't. It has to be isolated. Put on the full armor of God. No worldly yes. things. And I know it's easier to talk, you know, and we all we all fail at that. We all, we all fall fail. Short we all fall that. short. Yeah, but we just need to pray to the Lord and ask Him because I can't do anything. You can't do anything. I can't quit drinking. You know, I can't. Uh, if somebody is if somebody is uh, an alcoholic, they can't quit drinking. The Lord has to relieve them from that. You know what I mean? Yes. So. Uh, uh, just ask the Lord. Him. Yep, uh, we have to pray and ask the Lord's help with with these things. Yeah, with not being in the world. So it's it's all about asking God, not be not doing this by yourself, not trying to f do this by yourself, but asking the Lord. So uh, uh, you guys are armed alone over there. The Lord is with you. So stay encouraged. Uh, God bless you all. Okay. So um, what? Um like I said, I'm going to go ahead and put the, uh, if, if you have Bibles you want to donate um, to the ministry, uh, go ahead and uh, put down in the, I'll put down the comment section, the email address dvargus, V-A-R-G-U-S 25 at gmail.com. I need these um, quickly um, because it takes a few days in shipping because I'm going to be leaving, we're going to be leaving um the, the Friday after this. So th this stuff would need to be sent out immediately. Um, um, and also, um, go ahead and um, if you got your prayer requests, go ahead and send them into dvargus25 at gmail.com also. And I will get them uploaded on this channel. Um, I do have another video going out today, a prayer video for a sister in Christ that lost her child. So um, I'm going to do that later today. And um, God bless you guys. Stay encouraged. Our King of Kings and Lord of Lords, Jesus Christ of Nazareth is coming quickly. Amen. Shalom.